Okay, my Love Island Australia fans, we got to talk about this particular episode and look like we're getting close to the end of the season. So we have a declaration of love with one of our couples. We got exes reuniting and we have an absolute devastating dumping. Welcome back to Romance Review TV. It's Lady T and I got another recap for you guys. Love Island Australia season four episode number 23 and without any further ado let's talk about what went down in Spain in this episode. So we're coming off of that previous episode where we had a little bit of drama surrounding Maddie where of course she made a connection with both Al and Mitch from season three and it kind of set a domino effect especially for jessica which at the end of the episode they actually i guess sorted it out but then it also was revealed that hugh was madeline's twin brother so now moving to this particular episode maddie is really trying to sort out her connection with mitchell and the same thing you know is happening with of course tina and column but in this particular scene, we have Mitchell actually sharing a kiss with Madeline. And then we actually have Tina, which eventually shares a kiss with Colm. And then at the end of all of this, they decide to have a conversation, Tina and Mitch, to tell each other that they kissed other people. In bed, it's kind of like on. <laughs> Do you think? I don't know. I've been getting to know Callum since I've been in the villa. You've just kissed a chick. Just walked in for the sake of it. It's like somewhat annoys me that you know, it's like annoying seeing you like cut the affection and the idea of you like the lights going off and not knowing if I'm only going into bed and start like hooking up. I reckon I'll pull do? back. Do yeah, I know. You want, that's you, you yeah, that's so do, manipulative. Do Why is he pissed off? Mitch is pissed off that. Oh, come on. I'd if I was having one one chat with Maddie there or whatever and then like no one was around and I just kissed her. I know and I don't like doing that to you. Oh, I love Callum, but I don't act good for you yeah, if no. you were to pursue that. And I think yeah, you know that too. Yeah, do you think too. I'm good for you? This is confusing. Yeah, I know, but I think I've already shown to you like that I shouldn't invest and that I have that there and you know that. I would be like that. Yeah. It should show him that I care and I need a little bit of that back now because there's a huge in being vulnerable with him again and as scared as he is, I think I've got double the right to be scared. Give me some kind of reassurance and investment that he thinks like there could actually be something there because I need that I can feel like I'm not crazy or pulling away from Callum for no reason. Now, these two have been flirting up a storm ever since they arrived in the villa for the second time. And, I mean, you can tell where this is going. I don't know if actually they had a conversation and maybe arranged something with the producers because this is just too easy for them to just come together. But, obviously, they have unfinished business that they need to sort out. However, they will get to the bottom of it. But, at the same time, there's other people involved in this, such as Stella, Madeline, and Colin. So they got to figure this out. But let's continue to see where this is going to go. I don't want to feel like that anymore. That's just shit for me. And Tina is confused as ever because she's trying to sort through her feelings. She knows she really wants Mitch. And Mitch is just... As much as he tries to get to know the other girls, he gravitates back to her. So now it's the next morning and Colm... Stella and of course Maddie is trying to get to the bottom of this because they don't think it's fair that you know they're making connections with these two but at the same time Mitch and Tina are still gravitating and flirting with each other. Today mm -hmm. at all because I feel like you both got a lot of shit to sort out. I'm I'm always gonna be there. So I'm not gonna be the one in instigating it because that's just mug I'm be mugging myself off. Then if I'm gonna rather somebody else mug me off, then I mug myself off. So that's just fucking dumb. Maybe stop in the right. text boyfriend because that's putting red flags on on yourself. And I know I'm not into that. What have you got for this? What you need to do today? Get your shit in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know what the word is. So that's an O. Order. Yes. I should order. Be shit in order today.
Now, as much as Colin might have some red flags, one thing about him, he knows what he's not going to tolerate. So now let's talk about Mitch and Maddie, because Maddie is also on the fence with this whole situation. So she's needing some communication from Mitchell to see where they're going in their connection, which looks like it's absolutely going nowhere because now he's trying to solidify things with Tina. With me, and then I guess to know where Mads' his head's at, so it can help me make a decision where I want to be. I don't want to be stuck in between two girls in here. Obviously, we're in a situation where we're getting to know people. Like I'm getting to know Maddie, you're getting to sweep. But I think I just want to know like honesty from you on where you're at and how you see things. Yeah, but I think it's at a point where we don't have much time left in here and I think if we're gonna, like, it's holding back doing anything with anyone. Like, he's not doing anything nice for me. You're not doing anything nice for me. I feel like I can't talk about, like, I can't progress things in here at this point. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I'm like, I need to, like, know. I'm just gonna say my bit here, so. I've gone and got to know everyone, yet I continue to be drawn back to you. I feel like I'm running this way, you're running that way, but there's a rope, like, pulling us both up. And I'm not going to deny, like, there's obviously, like, something there. And the only way I'm out is to, like, I guess, like, dive into it. I just feel like I need something big to come from Mitch. I need him to be like, look, I think maybe now's our time to, like, give it another shot, and I want him to be the one who says that. I feel like... I kind of want you to, like... I just want you to be honest with me. I feel like I need you to, like, like, fully, like, want me. Like, I feel like you, I don't know if you just want me to want you and then you're going to do something. I don't, I, need some... I, don't, I don't know what you want because like, I think it's been, I think if anything, it's been it's so a, unclear. Yeah, because it's, like, embarrassing for me to say that, like, I'd want you everything that's happened. It's, like, I look stupid, Mitch. I'm just saying, I just want someone to just be and it not to be like questioned. This after it happened, I just feel like I need you to like want me like 100%. And I know that like things would just kind of like come back. What would need to be different? Like, why didn't it work? The race, the race is really wrong with it. What would be different now? That it could be worth, like, trying to figure it out. But I'm just so nervous about it. I guess he must be feeling the same because we just haven't even said those words yet. So obviously there is something we can't deny that's there. Um, Mitch says this, dive into it. Tina breaks down and she said that she feel like she need him to fully want her. And she's not sure, but uh, yeah, this is where they decided to solidify it and they share kisses. I mean, it felt good. The kiss just felt right. <laughs> now I feel like that's just fucked it. Why'd you do that? <laughs> because you were giving me eyes. I it wasn't, felt it's right. just my face. It felt right. <laughs> he kisses me. Or I kiss him. I don't know who did what. But I'm confused. It doesn't make any sense. It didn't have anything to do. I feel like that didn't even align with anything we'd said in our chat. We'll talk later. Just let me chat to Maddie and, like, whatever. That was bad. Probably. All right, that was bad. That was bad. That was... Didn't make any sense to that. I felt like it was the right thing to do. Though. Yeah, it I did. I don't know. So now they want to keep this a secret from the other Islanders because, of course, they need to talk to Stella, Maddie, and Column. Now, I think Column is already out, but it's a secret nonetheless. Kiss. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I just kissed my ex. I can't stop thinking about it. Actually, it's a secret. I didn't kiss my ex. 
Now, after all of what they just did secretively, Mitchell decides that he wanted to pull Phoebe S to get, I guess, a little bit more validation and confirmation from her to make sure that he's making the right choice with Tina. Uh, and had a kiss and all that, which is fine. I have no problem with that at all. Yeah. Then, like, after that, we spoke, I want you to fully invest in me and all that. And I just felt a bit like... That's a bit like yeah. your actions and words aren't adding up. Yeah. I feel like my guard's up massively because I feel like I could get a lot more hurt. I know, but then a day it's like, fuck, you could get hurt by any girl, obviously. There's... True, but I think it's because I know like that there's something there. Yeah. Well, I don't think you should run from that, though. I think if you're feeling that way, that's actually a good then, sign. This, this is what, shut up. No, it <laughs> is. Deep down in your heart, you want Tina, and I think you know that. So I guess he got Phoebe's seal of approval to move forward with Tina. Now, speaking of Colm and Madeline, who of course are now separated from Mitchell and Tina, they now decide that uh, they're going to move forward. Um, they're not going to be part of this whole Pentagon that's going on, which they've already unknowingly have been removed from but he's ready to crack on with madeline and so is she and i actually think maybe he might have met his match speaking of mitchell and tina i mean honestly this must have been the mitch and tina episode um, I kind of want to say it's a little bit of a disservice to the other Islanders because they've already had their bite at the apple last year. And if they wanted to reunite, they probably should have did that off screen or, you know, outside the villa. But hey, it continues. Self to get to know people. And like, no matter what, I've still just found myself gravitating towards you. But also like, there's just like, there's something that's just been like sparked. I don't I know if you like, feel the same. I, I feel, feel like, like when I kiss, there's like something there. I, and I'm not going to lie, like, it didn't really feel that deep when I kissed Calm down here. Like, I've probably felt the same as when you kissed Mads. I think I would be stupid if I tried to, like, ignore this. I want to see what we, where we can go and put my eggs in your basket. That's horrible to say that. <laughs> I feel like there are still things that can go wrong, but I can't help but feel a little bit giddy about it. But I wanted to let, let you know everything. I feel like I want it all out there. And no, we can't kiss in front of I'm people. I'm not trying. I'm not. That wasn't what I was doing. I just lied here. Can we go to the bedroom and hook up, though? Where are you going? I you wanted to go somewhere. Yeah, where are you going? I don't know. Where are you in the bedroom. That's, this is so... And with all this sneaking around, yeah, you guys could have did this outside. <laughs> it's just weird, but, like, I haven't told anyone, so it's like... I haven't told anyone, so we went to fucking here. <laughs> but I can't get enough when you follow me down. Follow me, follow me down when I'm crashing out. I got questions now. Got more questions now. Help me out. Yeah, you've been making me crazy. But we should just keep this shit easy. <laughs> you know, wait a second or not? I know, I'm not just saying you for a second. So, Actually, if, if, where about this information? Well, I feel like everyone's just going to be like quizzing you, hey? Feels weird. Huh? Feels weird. Why? <laughs> yeah. We probably fucked in the head right now. I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about somebody else. We're going to talk about Stella and Hugh. Now, these two I like. I honestly think they have similar things in common. There's a personality match with these two. She has that uh, kind of quirky, fun, you know, the girl next door. And he seems like he's very laid back. He's kind of silly and chill. So I honestly think that this couple right here, Stella and Hugh, will be a great match. And obviously, they feel the connection too. And now with everything going on with Mitch and Tina, Mitch has to break the news to Madeline that he's going to pursue things with his ex. Tell her that I'm still going to speak to her, but my energy and attention is towards Tina and seeing what we can turn that into. 
And I think that's a good thing because communication is key. He needed to give her the space to kind of pursue another guy in the villa, which in this case is Colum, and she won't have to waste her time. And speaking of Colum, we also have Tina having that same conversation with him, letting him know that, you know, that she's going to pursue things with Mitch. Uh, no, I'm Callum already knew what was coming when I pulled him for a chat. It was different. I think I think it could have gone somewhere because mm. I, I do think you're a top bird. So yeah, I think if if he wasn't, sure. a, um, I feel the same. I would I would have hundred percent kept going the way I'm going to be to get to know you. But for me now, it's kind of like a relief because I don't waste my I don't have to waste my time. And it's so early days; it hasn't impacted me at all. Yeah. So are you happy? I don't know yet. Can I still get a kiss in bed tonight, Bob? Fuck off. Fingers. In my opinion, Colum had already checked out. He moved on because of how he thinks of Madeline. He is ready to pursue her. It's hot as fuck. So now we have a challenge where the boys have to oil up and compete to be Mr. Love Island. And oh, stay tuned for Hugh because, uh, yeah, I think he's going to get zeroed out. See moves. Oh. <laughs> to be Mr. Love Island because I'm a hot, scooting, booting, divorcee, best fuck in the villa. <laughs> I've managed to tame the villa dragon, aka Jess. So you all, you all can call me the knight in shining armor. And most importantly, I'm the only guy to make sweet love on the island. <laughs> Next up is Austin, and I would have gave him an eight. Oh. 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 I'll be Mr. Love Island. Tell us. One, I can hypnotize you with just one stare. Reason number two, I'm tall, long, thick, in all the right places. <laughs> oh. And... I will make sure that every single girl in the world gets one free vibrator because it's important to pleasure yourself even when your man's not home. Yeah. Next up is Colum. I give him about mm, a six. Oh. <laughs> Bosh. Definitely started out strong. It was it was nice to watch. Keep going. Oh, I don't want to oh. see. I've got more chat than a phone box. <laughs> I'm also obviously sculpted like a Greek god. My show race ratio is astronomical, and I'm not talking about space. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Mr. Love Island. First things first, banning gherkins in all McDonald's burgers. Yes! And you still are eating those gherkins. You do genuinely just need to grow up because they're minging. Um, I mean Mitchell is up next, and I give him an eight, probably for that speech. Oh. Oh. I'm the smartest. I may not have the best body, oh. but oh. I came here to find. Oh. Oh. That boy speech was so cute. I think I'm still watching from it. Ten out of ten. Phoebe gave him a 10, and honestly, these two little lovebirds profess love and want to be in a relationship this episode. Now, here comes Hugh, and he gets a zero, and I know his sister was cringing. Wow. He came out with confidence, came out spicy. It was a good catwalk. Oh, <laughs> I was covering my eyes for most of it, disturbing on many levels. Don't you hate when you see a lad and you say his piece? We're banning all clothes, ladies. Take <laughs> 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 I actually just saw your whole asshole. Your sister's here. That was seriously fucking disturbing. I did not want to see any of that. She just topped it off. Claudia, girl, I am with you on that one. I couldn't imagine what Madeline was going through. I have two brothers, and that is something that I would never, ever want to see. 
However, of course, in true fashion, the ladies gave him a big fat zero. Hugh, what were you thinking? Next up is season three, Mitch, and yeah, he put his foot in his mouth. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Mitch stuck to what he knew, the gym workout, and we've seen it all before. Why be Mr. Love Island? I mean, I kind of am. I won the show last year. Oh. Tall, dark and handsome. Got the looks. You've met me now. Got the brains. I mean, clearly I make you all happy on the heads when I came in here. I mean, after all, Mitch was counting how many chats I had with his birds, so... Oh. That's enough. Shut your lips. My speech was pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. And you know, if the fans are giving this situation a side eye, the Islanders are too. Jordan is up next, and uh, he get rave reviews from the ladies. Why I should be Mr. Love Island. I'm a country boy. Morals. I treat girls like a gentleman. Um, I've also got the ma magic mullet. So <laughs> over. Chadies get the ladies. I'm good, good with my hands in the bedroom. Oh, and the tools. Oh, oh, I get it. Impressive. What I would change in the world, Mr. Love Island. 25 degrees and over. Work stops. Everyone to the beach and tea. Let's go. Thanks, John. And he got rave reviews from the girls. But the question is, how long is that going to last? Because at the end of the episode, it reveals what his true intentions are. But here is our winners of Mr. Love Island. Yeah. Mitchell! That's good enough. I mean, it's better than last. Thank you. And second place goes to Austin! Is this real? Is this for you? Thank you. And the winner of Mr. Love Island is Jordan! So, yes, Jordan wins Mr. Love Island Challenge, and the girls are singing his absolute praises. How long is that going to last? So now our Islanders are all summoned to the fire pit, and our twins now have to make decisions for each other. And Hugh, tonight you will couple up by stealing someone's partner. The choice of who you couple up with is not your own. Madeline, you will decide who your twin brother couples up with. Which girl would you couple up with and why? I couple up with Hugh because I feel like she has been nothing but genuine and kind-hearted. She has only said good things about Hugh and I feel like all the Islanders, she's definitely most compatible. The girl I would like to couple up with Hugh is Stella. So, yes, she chose Stella for her brother, and I actually think that's a good match. I'd like to see with these remaining episodes how Stella and Hugh actually work in the villa. Maybe they can make it outside. Now it's Madeline's turn. Hugh, you will decide who your twin sister couples up with. Which boy would you like Madeline to couple up with and why? I'd like Mads to couple up with this boy because he seems super genuine, he seems super fun, He's definitely a softie on the inside. So the boy I'd like Mads to couple up with is. So he ended up choosing Colm for his sister Madeline, but that leaves two people vulnerable. Tina and Mitch, you have been left single and are now vulnerable. Which of course is no surprise, which and they cannot win Love Island. However, it means that they'll probably just sell off into the sunset together. But the night is not over just yet. Islanders, the night is not over. 
will be a dumping tonight. So they learned that the super fans have been voting for the Islander they most want to continue their journey. However, at the end, Phoebe H, Jordan, and Mitchell are the bottom three. The person with the least votes and dumped from the villa tonight is Phoebe H. Now, with this dumping where Phoebe H received the least amount of votes and is dumped from the villa, hearing the news that no new bombshells will be joining the show after this point, she just can't understand why Jordan won't just leave with her. I mean, Phoebe H tells them that I'm not even sad about leaving here. It's just more about you. And yeah, I'm questioning and... I will say, as much as the girls loved him as Mr. Love Island, well, it turns a little bit sour. And even the boys are wondering, why won't he just go leave and be with her? But you got to remember, the truth, Bike, he said that he really don't see a life outside of the villa at that point. So let's hear what the ladies have to say. No faith that Jordan will leave the villa for Phoebe H even though it's so stupid because what else are you here for? Like, that was the one. She was the person that you made a connection with, so why wouldn't you leave? I thought it was cute, but... It was cute because, because if it was him going home, what would you do? I would go with him. Oh, yeah. I feel like I will punch him in the face. I don't That's... know if he genuinely likes me then. I feel, like, I feel bad too. She really, really, really liked Jordan and put every single one of her eggs in his bus. And, um, yeah, he's kind of fucked her over. You just are so much better. I'm so fucking like Sorry. on behalf of all of us. You have to go through this shit right now. 100%. And it's not a reflection yeah. on the type of person no, that you are. You're either a beautiful feet. girl. Yeah, like, why isn't he? Why isn't he, he leaving with it me? It doesn't make sense. I'm I tried to. I tried to. And it wasn't like you were in a friendship couple either. It was no. like, no. From the very start, we've not. We've been intimate in bed and now. Yeah. Just I mean, if you really like her, you'd leave. If Al didn't leave with me, if I got dumped tonight, I'd be laying down the lard. He deserves to feel like shit yeah. because he made you feel like shit. Do you know what I mean? Yep, so Jordan went from hero to villain in all one episode. And, I mean, even the conversation that Phoebe has with him... You know, he's like, he wants to stay in the villa to hang out with the boys. Dude, this is Love Island, not Friendship Island. I just feel like, you know, if you don't really find anyone for you here. I still love every single one of person that's in here. Like I've been here from day one, I love these girls, boys. If it was like four weeks to go or three weeks to yeah. go, where am I? Fuck, I'm not gonna see you for ages. Yeah. We would, I uh, think they're just kind of like, what the fuck are you gonna do? You're just. It's a win. Like it does make me sad that you're not leaving yeah. with me as well as them. Mm -hmm. It's just the like thought, do you know what I mean? And I've told you that when I get out of here, we're gonna be. Isn't that like what mm -hmm. you wanna hear? I told you how I feel. And that's how I feel. Yeah, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. He's going to eventually get dumped from the island anyway because they usually go down to either the final three couples or the final four couples. So your time is limited, Mr. Jordan. And uh, yeah, this is not a good look. But hey, he had to make the decision best for him. Okay, so let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about Mitchell and Tina? Do you think they should have came back and maybe if they were going to get back together, they could have did that on the outside? And then as for the situation with Phoebe and Jordan, should he have left with her? Or if he's not really truly interested, maybe break things off. But what's the reason for staying on the show if you're not going to be eventually coupled up with anyone else? else so let me know your thoughts so i hope you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye